Hey everyone, Selena here with a science demonstration. Today I will show y'all examples of conduction, friction, and induction using the resources I have with me at home. This demo will follow electrostatics, aka 7B. Plan and carry out investigation to demonstrate and qualitatively explain charge transfer by conduction, friction, and induction. For conduction, I will be using socks and my brother Kevin. I am going to rub socks on the carpet and then touch my brother's arm to transfer the energy. Then for friction, I will use a balloon and Kevin's hair. Get out the frame. Once the balloon is blown up, I will rub it against his hair, transferring electrons onto the balloon. For our final demonstration, I will be demonstrating induction with a balloon and a sweater. I'm going to rub the balloon on the sweater, then hold the balloon close, but not touching Kevin's hair. The balloon will have a negative charge, causing his hair to attract to the balloon. Conduction refers to the transfer of energy through the movement of particles that are in contact with each other. Even though Kevin did not feel anything, energy has still transferred from my fingertip to his arm. Dry friction is a force that opposes the relative lateral motion of two solid surfaces in contact. Induction is when a charged object is brought near to a neutral object, charging the neutral object. As the balloon is being rubbed against his sweater, the balloon becomes a negative charge, right? Yeah. And when I hold the balloon close to Kevin's hair, Kevin's hair attracts to the balloon because while the balloon is a negative charge, opposite charges attract, therefore Kevin's hair attracts to the balloon. This experiment follows the Coulomb's law. Coulomb's law states that like charges repel and opposite charges attract. Our limitations weren't that bad considering the fact that we could still go through the experiment and we could have done it at school too. The only setback that we had was that we couldn't measure the charge that was happening. We didn't have the devices to measure charge. But without the Coulomb's meter, I could not measure the charge between the balloon and Kevin's hair. That's the end of the demonstration. I hope y'all enjoyed my little physics experiment.